Madam President, Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, Iran has long advocated multilateralism and diplomacy for peace. I've come here today to make the case that such collective diplomatic efforts are no longer the prudent option, rather they're the only solution. If there were ever a unipolar moment in international politics, it is definitively gone. All our challenges from environment to security are global in nature and scope, and therefore any solution must be global and multilateral. My country has consistently shown its commitment to multilateralism as the tenet of a robust foreign policy. A brief review of our diplomatic engagements just this past few weeks makes this abundantly clear. To our rest, Parliament speakers of Iraq's neighbors gathered in Baghdad last weekend to explore a new initiative, a new inclusive approach to a multilateral regional engagement. While last week I led a delegation to Damascus and Ankara to further our cooperation with Syria, Turkey, and Russia in the multilateral Astana track. To our east, our new special envoy for Afghanistan is engaged in a regional multilateral approach to peace and stability. While two days ago, we hosted Pakistan's Prime Minister for talks on a multilateral approach to regional stability and fighting terrorism. To our north, senior officials of Caspian Sea littoral states gathered last week to operationalize the historic multilateral Caspian Sea Convention. We concluded in 2018 after some 22 years of negotiations. Meanwhile, we are making progress on economic integration, including through the multilateral Eurasian Economic Union. To our south, we have facilitated the multilateral Stockholm process on Yemen and have also proposed a regional dialogue forum in the Persian Gulf as an inclusive multilateral approach to cooperation and dispute settlement. 